All right, so we're gonna make a monolithic floating lead shelf, which is like loosely based off of the Shinny the Sheik sisters lead shelf, which was uh, one of the first shelves I made. But basically what you wanna do is attach a straight edge on the back. Now the Ryobi plunge router has a flat surface on the back. You just line up your inch and a half uh, straight bit to your line based off of that little flat edge that you put on the back. Run a couple screws in so it stays in place. The stuff on the right is going to be cut off anyway, so just the way I built this, you know, you can run screws straight in it. If not, you could double side tape the hell out of it, and that would work. But, you know, here's the fun part. We just start routing forever. I felt like I was routing for a long time. Um, you want to do shallow passes. Maybe about a quarter of an inch would be like the deepest. Eighth inch is kind of what I tried to stick at. Now I created a little jig. It's just a piece of quarter inch Lawan with a hole on it. And then that two by four is the same height as the piece of ash. So it's three and a half, three and a half. And it just kind of rode along the straight edge and that two by four. Once I got down to a depth I wanted, I put a, a straight edge bit with a bushing on the top, which was able to give me, you know, a point of reference for the uh, the back, which ends up getting revisited. Then I strapped on the strapped on the ArborTech mini no, ArborTech mini plane, micro plane, something like that, and just kind of roughly shaped out the uh, the curve of the log. Now I did go back and revisit that with the router. I thought I hit record, but I didn't, so I didn't capture any of the footage where I used the uh, big inch and a half bit to kind of clean everything up. But, I mean, theoretically, you don't need to route this. You could make the whole thing, carve it out with one of these uh, ArborTech uh, planer things, but, you know, it'd be a lot of work. The big router bit really made a big difference. So if you got a decent-sized plunge router, I think you can pick that one up that I got right there, inexpensive. It's really inexpensive, and uh, it works great. I have a Hitachi that I have a lot of issues with. The plunge doesn't stay set. This one, no problems at all. I mean, it was perfect right out of the box. So again, just kind of modify the jig a little bit, sliding down. We're cutting out the back. So the table saw is not big enough to cut, so I needed to cut a half inch down. I don't know why I cut so deep. But uh, once that's cut, just rip it on your table saw. Look at that. Effortless. And I made the jig, modified it again. This is the back, the part that attaches the wall. I just cleaned that up, and it's ready to go. That's it. Really easy.